Hey everyone, and welcome to another custom challenge run in the Binding of Isaac. Today we have a run coming from Intheisto. Intheisto? Intheisto? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, it is called Charge. We have the pony with infinite item power. And I know you're thinking this would. Oh, you can change directions? That's awesome! You don't have to meet your destination to. Oh man. Uh, anyway, I know you're thinking, well, this is stupid, you're just invincible all the time. Well, yeah, that that would be the case. Did I mention it's called charge? Uh, but I'm not going to do it like that, because that would be stupid. I'm going to do something where, you know, I don't use it non-stop, or I use it every couple seconds, or I only use it a certain number of times. I'm, I'm going to regulate myself so that this isn't stupid. Anyway, the idea is that the only way I can damage enemies is using the pony. Or maybe I should make it so that I can only uh, hit, <laughs> hit someone with the pony if I've done uh, a direction switch in that charge. Oh, I missed that one, you see. It seems I can only hit once per pony on the boss here. Alright, you die. And, I mean, see, I still took damage. Okay, we gotta line this up well. And there's no regulation about items, so I'm just gonna take whatever I want, man. Let's see what that is. Luck down, whatever. Hermit teleports us to the shop. I really don't care, man. And, you know, this might be a run that you guys don't like so much, but I'm sorry. Uh, I just figured this one's easy to set up. And, uh, I don't have much time right now. And I have to have a video out for tomorrow, and I've only got a couple hours left. Oh, health down. That's good. That's real good. By the way, I want to say thank you in this video, as well as I thanked, uh, thanked him in another video as well, that you'll see tomorrow. Um, well, that's not more useful. Uh, thank you to Kyle Cloak for my new icon and channel art. If you haven't noticed them, uh, notice them now, because I've mentioned them. Uh, they're pretty sweet, and that was all out of his kind-heartedness and uh, love of the channel. So I want to say, again, a sincere thank you. So, you know, I'm happy with that, and uh, my little unicorn, that's great. I will touch it so that I don't have it again. Did you guys know that my little unicorn gives you a uh, speed up while you're using it, I believe, and so does the game kid? I, I think they both do. Maybe only one of them does, but that is a thing. That is, that is a thing. Good pin, good. Oh, good, pageant boy, my favorite thing. We might have enough money? No, not, we can't go to the shop yet. I don't really need either of those things. If we're just being totally honest here. Anyway, this run might end up just being you guys listen to me talk, but you like listening to me talk. Don't ya? Curse the Labyrinth. Sure. Uh, oh, jeez. This might be difficult if I catch them against a wall or something. Uh, okay. Oh, I thought it would be sweet awesome if I did that, uh, did a direction switch and caught a bunch of them. I am going to hit up that Tinted Rock. I like how it finishes the charge after I've gotten the pill. Friends till the end. Kamikaze flies that do double my damage. My damage is base damage, if you were wondering. I'll come back for that bomb. Forget Me Now would be a great pickup. I guess I should touch it. Allowing us to redo the floor, and it's programmed so that you always go back to the first of an XL floor rather than... um. You know, if I used it on Caves XL, I would go back to Caves 1, no matter what. That's just how it's programmed. It's a special case, even though Caves XL actually counts as the Caves 2. For various other things. If you know what I'm saying. So, uh, you know, cool things to know. Nope, oh, that was silly damage. But at least you can't say that I'm just being invincible all the time and making this no fun. Uh, something else I had to say? I don't remember. So... I guess I don't. Oh yeah, I remember. Um, this, because I've missed a couple of uh, Super House of Dead Ninja. Oh, I can't damage them. All right, I can't damage them with my charge. So basically, I'm, I'm gonna have to cheat here. And I'm just kind of using the charge to kill some of the flies. But you can't damage hives with your charge. And you probably also can't damage them with um, poison touch. Uh, the nails, contact damage, um, game kid maybe even, and also 
I like my little unicorn. So basically, uh, that's the more you know. Oh yeah, I, I'm doing two Super House of Dead Ninjas episodes in a row, rather than um, the norm, which is one Super House of Dead Ninjas and two Dark Souls. I'll return to normal after tomorrow, when you see the second of the two Super House of Dead Ninjas episodes. But uh, for those two, you're getting two in a row. This could be greed. Indeed it is. Oh no. And, I mean, if you haven't noticed, I'm not even doing that well. So it's not like... I'm playing this in a way that makes me very overpowered. It's still somewhat interesting. And uh, we've just learned this lesson, so I have to use tears here. Much as I hate it. I don't actually hate it that much. Uh, but, you know, it's against the run, kindas, so uh, I'd prefer not to do it. But, gotta do what you gotta do, you know, man. I'm just kind of doing this to stay out of the reach of the flies. So, uh, yeah, now that worked out. I need some health real bad. Real, real bad. And, uh, yeah, two Super House of Dead Ninjas. And then there will be two Dark Souls as normal after that. And then one Super House of Dead Ninjas. We'll, we'll return to the normal schedule, basically. And, uh, everyone will be happy. And, uh, you know, I guess I'm, I've hit a crossroads, sort of, in, um, Dark Souls, where I've finally completed the first major arc, kind of, and, uh, it's time to do another. I might die in this freaking silly, silly run that was supposed to be kind of overpowered, man. Come on. There we go. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. So now I'm, I'm gonna live just a little bit longer. Now I'm gonna live a lot longer. Oh, I missed. What a terrible... Oh, that's good. That's very good. Oh, God. Uh, I kind of like the idea that I'm sniping them. I'm definitely going to want to pick up that Eternal Heart. What? 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 You lie to me. You lie to me. Uh, yeah, I want to pick up that Eternal Heart after I have killed the boss man. Good, good. Let the hatred flow through you. What is this? Speed up. Of course, the only stat I'll get more of is speed. I mean, come on. The pony gives me more speed. Um, Roid Rage gave me more speed. Got a speed pill. How did that hit me? Gave me more speed. I mean, really, it's just an inescapable fact at this point. Oh, good. I'll take another speed up. It's no fun if I don't. Why am I even holding on to the hangman? D20. Also got to touch it. Wow. Curse of the spacebar items, man. But these things happen. Oh, goodness gracious. There we go. Come at me, bro. I didn't know if I'd get that. Turned out I did. Say, so, you know, don't condemn me for saying for this run being boring. I'm making it somewhat interesting, at least. Justice gives me four drops. I'm going to hold on to that in case I need a heart. Uh, remember, there's an eternal heart chill in the boot. Yeah, I said a boot. You want to fight a boot it? Uh, yeah, so anyway, what I was saying about Dark Souls. By the way, if you don't watch Super House of Dead Ninjas or Dark Souls, you totally should. They're a good series of fun games. I'm not as, uh, I'm not, I'm not, like, all-knowing about them like I am about this game, so it's more interesting if you want to see me learn rather than be a know-it-all. Uh, you know, I'm going to pass on the health down, I think. Surprising as that may be. Oh god. Oh man, I'm amazed that I did not meet with death swiftly. Oh goodness gracious. I just kind of glide a lot. Not in a dancing sense. If, if I could dance, man, I would be coolest kid around. Alright, we're going back for health. At least backtracking is like super easy in this run because like I'm really fast. Real, real fast. Oh uh, yeah, we hit a crossroads, kind of, where we, we have more options of where to go in Dark Souls. We uh, completed the first major arc of the story. Well, first one I know of. Uh, and it's... it's uh, oh right, that's the Eternal Heart. I would have forgotten, maybe. But now I shan't, hopefully. And yeah, uh, we're about to embark on new journeys. About to switch main weapons after a very long time. Just lots, lots of stuff is happening. And it's very, very exciting. 
and I need two days to prepare for it rather than one. And, I mean, I recorded both Super House of Dead Ninjas episodes right in a row. Because it's not that difficult. Oh, oops. Oops, Mick. Oops and... Okay, so I can place bombs. Uh, let's... Oh, God, why would you do that? What a monster. Well, we got a soul heart, at least. Ah, oh, get out of my face. I, I wasn't even counting on using tears. I forgot about this silly little... discrepancy between these enemies and the rest of them. That might affect mulligans as well, I'm not sure. But we're, we're done with mulligan times. I think we can charge through swarmers if we have to deal with them. Oh good, full health. Remember there's an eternal heart, guys. Just in case you were wondering. Alright, let's see who our first boss is. It's peep -a deep I was trying to charge and it was like, no you're not. Who are you kidding? So I then didn't charge and uh, I, that resulted in me taking some damage. Peep, you're hardly moving. Anyway, because I was about to say because I can dodge this all day, I'm spamming a little, but all right, so here's the thing. We picked up that eternal heart totally by accident, but it doesn't actually matter because we can just go pick up the other one now and it'll become a full, uh, not a full health, a health up immediately. So we ain't even got to worry. I thought I was stuck for a second. So don't fly into a door. That's a bad idea. The more you know. At least not an open door. I'm sure that a closed door is totally fine. Yes, indeed. Indeed. So, uh, pretty much, we're going to have a party. And I don't need that health down because I'm not at one heart. And when it would become health up, who is their second boss going to be? Gertie. Champion Gertie that doesn't... Did that hit twice? Because that would be pretty sweet. Uh, doesn't shoot tears. So basically, we're just facing, like, infinite annoyance here. I'm sorry if you don't like this run. It's kind of pointless. But at the same time, it's just oh so good. Shot speed up. Great, thanks. I really do need that. So anyway, we don't have to remember the Eternal Heart. We've already gotten it. Let's go to the next flow. Flow of the next. And then uh, things begin to become more interesting in here, the depths. You know, there, there's an area of Dark Souls called the Depths. It's like the second area you go to. Oh my god, why is it always hives? Bad hives once. They didn't look like this. Uh, they were just itchy and bumpy and terrible. It was like an allergic reaction to some medicine or something. They think that I'm allergic to, like, freaking penicillin. And that's not true. I've had it before and didn't have anything happen. But this time, this last time, a while ago, I, 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 that that happened. Luck down. Yeah, sure. Luck down is actually increasing our drop rates of some things or others. So uh, it's not actually bad to take, but it is also lowering our drop rate of other some things or others. We're getting lots of soul hearts, though, which is cool. Uh, I will take speed and damage simply because um, I need to use my damage every so often, apparently. Best be prepared for it, you know? Oh. See, even when I kind of spam the pony, I end up taking bunches of bunches of damage. Yeah, you think you're hot stuff, faceless knight, but you're not. You're just not, man. You are not man. K-N-O-T, man. It's kind of like a boy scout, but it's not man. Wow, every time it's a space bar item that I just can't have or don't want. In most cases, both. Uh, so we can apply the pro strat to Monstro 2 in some effect. Nope, you just keep doing what you're doing. No, no, you just... Yeah, see, I was kind of afraid of that happening. Because every other time we just bounced off of him relatively harmlessly. But other times... Well, no, that time. We still got hit by his beam of pain and sadness. Sorrow. What have you. Anyway, we got a health up. Let's go to the next floor. I don't even care about exploring the rest of that floor. Man, I went to the whole of that Caves XL floor. Alright, down, up. Key drops still exist. That's always nice to know. Ooh, stay away from me, you naughty, naughty pokey slide business. 
man thing. Man thing go. Ha ha! Don't don't go there. Right. Okay, we're still alive. Um, I kind of want to not die to that. Health down, you know, I don't want that. I kind of want to find the item room is what I was going to say. But then again, is it worth it? It's They've all been bad spacebar items. This is the last one. Maybe I'll just save my keys for the uh, possible eventuality of the chest. And I'm not even saying that like it's a guarantee. <laughs> Which is kind of sad because I could just be invincible all the time. And you guys know that... Um, Oh, right. If I press this, I'm now invincible, and I can just shoot here, and uh, nothing can damage me, but I can still damage it as long as I use the mouse. I just wanted to show you guys that glitch. I don't want to make a PSA about that because it's kind of exploitative in a way that I don't support, as opposed to exploitative in a way I do support, of which I have made PSAs. Oh, man. Yeah, this isn't going too hot. Nope. Oh, that hit me. I might die on this here mom fight. Oh, glob. Oh, my glob. What the stuff are you doing? What the stuff are you doing? Uh, yeah, that's not how you expected this to end. It's not how I expected this to end either. But I don't think I'm going to restart the run. I could do another run, but again, I, I did say I don't have much time, and I'm not lying. Even though it's late, I got places to be. And uh, pretty much, that was charged. Please, please leave your custom challenge run suggestions in the comments, and I'll do the ones I like the most, or the ones that I think would be the most entertaining to watch. Uh, I've started doing a series of challenge runs on Infinite D6 runs, where uh, I'm kind of going for a, ve like a very general setup, so you leave me the freedom to select what items I think would fit with that setup, and uh, you just tell me like what that is. Like One suggestion currently is look really freaky and ugly and stuff. And, uh, you know, that could happen. And, uh, you know, that's just kind of the thing. Or if you want, like, get a bunch of tear effects, which is also a suggestion. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. So um, you can also suggest those if you're not feeling creative. And uh, those are things that I may get to. Um, I've also done a couple Alphabet Soup runs, and there have been some variations on it um, suggested. So you can do that as well. There's one based on my name or based on commenters' names. So yeah, um, that's kind of a long rambly way of saying there are lots of things you can suggest, so please do so. I am happy to receive your feedback. Um, yeah, if you're new around here, I like to respond to a lot of comments. By the way, we might have just uh, hit 700 subscribers. I don't know how uh, quickly that'll happen. We're at like 697 as I record this. So that's exciting. Uh, welcome everyone that's new, and hello to everyone that's been around a while. And now I think I can finally stop talking now. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.